tonight trying to figure out if we can get home before the rain, before the rain comes. I know and it looks like you and I are going to be okay um, but we are tracking that weather they're already moving into Llano County and there's some moderate to heavy rain right. out there already so this is what's going to be in store as we go through the rest of the overnight hours here's the storm profiler notice the heaviest rain over San Saba County right now south of the San Marcos area and this whole system is moving northeast so within these uh, moderate light showers we're looking at right now there are some heavier downpours as well as a few thunderstorms and with lightning and a little bit of thunder as well. So if you're going to be out late tonight, you want to make sure to take care because with those heavier downpours, you could see some ponding on the roadways or even some minor flooding of the low-lying areas like uh, the uh, creeks and rivers and that sort of thing. So again, take care as you head out through the overnight hours tonight. This rain's going to continue almost all night long, finally wrapping up by tomorrow morning. Satellite radar shows just how large of an area of rain we're talking about here, stretching from for most of uh, Texas, mainly parts of the center part of the state. It's all because of an area of low pressure just to our south right now, spinning up lots of moisture, lots of energy as well. So let's go hour by hour through our forecast. Through the rest of the overnight hours, uh, we're going to see widespread showers, even a few thunderstorms with that lightning, a little bit of uh, thunder as well. Up to about an inch and a half of rain for most areas. There could be isolated higher totals, though, with some of those heavier downpours, and that could make for some localized flooding, like I said. So do take care if you do plan to be out early. But by uh, early Sunday morning, we start to watch on the backside of the system some of that colder air working its way into North Texas, so places like Dallas, looking at the possibility for some wintry precipitation in that area. Here in Central Texas, though, our temperatures will remain just above the freezing mark, so we're not expecting anything but rain overnight tonight. Now, in the upper, in the northern portions of the state, they're already looking at winter storm watches for the Dallas area. Starting at 3 a.m., going through tomorrow evening, the darker purples is a winter storm warning for southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana through the day tomorrow, as well as this whole system pulls out to the north and east. Current temperatures across the area here in central Texas, we're still in the 50s. Even places that have seen rain are still in the 50s. 52 in Mason, 54 in Llano. It's raining there. Upper 50s as you head to our southeastern counties. LaGrange right now, 58 degrees. In town, we're at 56 overcast, overcast at the airport at 57 degrees there, and winds are currently out of the east and very light. They'll be between 5 and 15 miles an hour uh, through the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning, we become even a bit breezier as the area of low pressure moves a little bit closer. Now, once this system exits by tomorrow afternoon, we're going to turn our attention now to a cold snap we're expecting for early next week. It's going to start out as an area over western Canada. A cold front's going to drop through Texas Monday night, bringing with it that ridge of high pressure out of Canada, that much colder air in by early Tuesday morning. We're talking temperatures about 20 degrees colder than normal for this time of year. And of course, we're going to expect several days of this, that cold air lingering through your Wednesday as well. So now's the time to start thinking about your winter preparations. Take care of those outdoor pipes, your pets, make sure they are wrapped. You can find more information on how to prepare for cold weather like this, cold air like this at KXAN.com. Just look under the local news tab. You can find more information there. Now tonight, temperatures, like I said, not getting to the freezing mark, so we're expecting rain for uh, the overnight hours. Temperatures dropping into the upper 30s and the lower southern counties, low 40s tonight. For tomorrow, temperatures aren't going to warm up all that much. Because of the cloud cover sticking around for much of the day, we're going to top out in the low to mid 40s tomorrow. So overnight tonight, widespread showers, even a few thunderstorms. Temperatures dropping to 39 degrees. You could see again up to about an inch and a half of rain in most areas and with a slightly heavier amounts for those heavier thunderstorms. Tomorrow, the rain in the morning hours uh, lingering through about noon in our eastern counties and then finally becoming just mostly cloudy. 47 your afternoon high. And let's look at that seven-day forecast. Monday, uh, temperatures not that bad through the afternoon, but it's going to be a cold start to the day. After that uh, Arctic front moves through, that colder air really starts to filter in. Then our temperatures will drop drastically Tuesday, Wednesday. 40 degrees, 39, 40 degrees. That's our typical low temperature for this time of year. That's what we're expecting as our high temperatures both Tuesday Tuesday and Wednesday kind of gives you an idea of how much colder air we're expecting. But the good news is we'll start to see these rebounds by Thursday, Friday. Things start to look much better. That also brings us a small chance of a few showers into next weekend.